was uh, that's the concept of Brian Mararescu's book. Where we were talking about ancient Greece. Brian Mararescu, who's a scholar who did all this work on uh, the Ulyssidian mysteries, and that during ancient Greece, they, what these people were drinking when they were drinking wine, they were drinking wine mixed with psychedelics, and they found physical evidence yeah. in the in the ceramic vessels that they used to hold the wine. They found uh, evidence of ergot and other psychedelics. All right. There we go. And that, um, thank you. That this this has actually now become a field of study at Harvard because of his work and uh, his book. And when he came on the podcast and talked about it, it's so. Cheers to you, sir. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. It's such an interesting um, subject to come from uh, an actual intellect. And he's, you know, hardcore, intellectual, straight laced. No, he doesn't do drugs, never done anything, hasn't had experience before. He's just relaying this in terms of like human history and that it seems like that was the birth of democracy. That was the birth of all these different complex societal uh, structures that we still enjoy today, which came out of ancient Greece, yes. most likely came what? out because of these psychedelic rituals. And he's never tried them? No, he's never. He wants to and he will eventually, but he yeah. wanted to make sure that he wrote this book uh, as a very straight laced academic interesting and he's brilliant it's he's the perfect guy to relay it because he was obsessed with it for over a decade and initially his initial uh obsession with it was ridiculed he was people like what the fuck are you doing and then ultimately upon physical evidence and proof of this and then also the proof that this was this was forbidden by the romans and then they chased it out and that you can see how these people escaped and brought it to other parts of europe where they find very similar artifacts and very similar um vessels and these things in in france and spain so they they escaped from greece and they went to other places to try to, to continue these rituals while they were being persecuted this just makes me feel like we're in the most stoner conversation it is ever. but it's by a guy in this case he's a by the way that academic. doesn't that doesn't make it not true yeah. it's just a pretty stoner conversation yeah. well the the real stoner com conversation is the stone ape theory that one's nuts all right lay it on me because i well D terrence mckenna came up with this theory and his brother dennis who's a brilliant scientist uh is the best at describing it see if you can find dennis mckenna explains the stoned ape theory because he explained it on this podcast he'll do a far better job of explaining it than me because he can tell it to you in a way where he understands how the psilocybin and the psychedelic compounds impact uh, the the human neurochemistry. Mm -hmm. So the way he describes it is like he's an actual scientist. And so when you listen to him describe it, you're like, whoa. I know there's a, a video of that out there from him on the podcast. But his brother came up with the idea that when human beings existed in um, in the rainforest, when we were you know ancient primates, that the rainforest receded into grasslands and as they did human beings experimented with different food sources and one of the things they did is they found where undulates would leave their manure these mushrooms would grow out of them and they would flip those manure patties over and find beetles and food and the mushrooms that grew on them they would experiment with them so 